What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and predictions on this year's Stanley Cup playoffs. I am pretty excited. Even though my team is not making the playoffs this year, in fact, out of 31 teams, they're ranked number 31. It was a terrible season for them. Even though they're not making the playoffs, I can still be pretty excited for the playoffs because I wasn't only following my team this year, I was following a whole bunch of other teams, seeing what's up with them, who is doing really good, what players they have, what players are doing really good. And to me, that is what the sport is about. It's not only that you have to follow one team. Even though I'm a huge fan of the Ottawa Senators, doesn't mean I can only watch them doesn't mean I can only follow them. I follow a lot of other teams as well. This year's Stanley Cup playoffs honestly is going to be pretty intense. I just have that funny feeling right now because all the matchups are pretty interesting and the first round especially, I could see them going either way. But let's get right into this. So I'm going to start with the Western Conference. Up first, we have Nashville Predators versus Dallas Stars. This one here to me, I could see going either way. Dallas Stars has been doing some pretty good things this year. I'm been pretty excited. I haven't been following them closely, but I do acknowledge that they've been doing some pretty great things. But Nashville, on the other hand, I am a huge fan of. I've been following them pretty closely, and they have a lot of pretty good players on their team, and I'm pretty excited to see how far they can get in the playoffs this year. So for this matchup, for me, I think it could go honestly either way, but my prediction is going to be Nashville. I think Nashville is going to beat Dallas Stars, and if I had to guess, I'm going to say it's going to be around 4-2. I don't think that Dallas is going to be able to bring it to the last game and be tied. I don't think they're going to be able to do that. I think it's going to be 4-2 for Nashville. Next, we have Winnipeg Jets versus St. Louis Blues. This one's another one I'm pretty excited for. As you guys know, I am Canadian, and mostly... Canadians, from what I can tell, they always cheer for Canadian teams because it's been quite a long time since a Canadian team has won the Stanley Cup, so it'd be nice to bring it back home. For the Winnipeg Jets, they've been doing some pretty great things this year. I'm pretty excited. They have some pretty great players. I haven't been watching them closely, but I have been watching them. And for St. Louis Blues, they do have some pretty good players as well, but they have a goalie this year that had a tremendous winning streak. He's been on a roll and I'm hoping that they will use him for the playoffs because it'd be pretty exciting. If they decide to use him for the playoffs, I could see it going either way, either the Blues or the Jets advancing. But for this one here, I'm going to say Winnipeg Jets and I'm going to say it's going to be 4-3. I think it's going to be right down to the very last game and it's going to be pretty intense the entire way. Next is going to be Calgary Flames versus Colorado Avalanche. If you guys seen my video I posted back in February where at the time I predicted who I think is going to advance and win the playoffs, I said that Calgary is going to advance and to me, I think they will. I think they might be able to make it to the finals, but in this matchup here, Calgary has been on a roll most of the season. They've been dominating. They've been proving themselves, which is what I love to see. I've been watching them very closely. Colorado, at one point, a couple weeks ago, I didn't think they were going to make the playoffs. I think they were just under where they needed to be to be able to make the playoffs. But the fact that they clutched it, they were able to make the playoffs, I think that's pretty exciting to see. They have some great players, but against Calgary, I'm a huge supporter of Calgary this year. I think they're definitely going to advance. So for this match here, honestly, I could see it going either way, and I would be okay if either one were to win, but I'm going to predict that Calgary is going to advance because I would like to see them get to the finals and hopefully win the cup. So I'm going to say this one here is going to be 4-2. That is my final prediction for this matchup. Next is San Jose Sharks versus Vegas Golden Knights. We lost two players this past season and last offseason to both teams. Eric Carlson went to the Sharks. Mark Stone went and got traded to the Golden Knights. So it's going to be pretty intense. I think, honestly, Vegas this year, last year, their first season, they did some pretty great things. And the fact that they made it so far into the playoffs, made it to the finals, I think is awesome. However, this year, their team, I think, is way better than last year. They have a lot more stars on their team than they did. Not saying anything bad about last year's Vegas team, but this year, they've really stepped it up. And I think they have a way better chance than they did last year. The Sharks, however, they have a lot of great players as well, and I could see them advancing too, but in this matchup here, I would be okay if it went either way, honestly. They both deserve it. They've both been proving themselves this year, but because of what Vegas has this year especially, and they also have Flurry, which I'm a huge fan of Flurry, I think that Vegas is going to do it, and I honestly think they're going to have what they did last year, and they're going to clean sweep some of these series. So this one here, I'm just going to guess. I'm going to say it's going to be 4-0. I honestly think it might be different. I think it might be right down to the last game. I might think 
it might go to 4-3 for Vegas, but I'm going to predict that they're going to clean sweep it because they did a great job in the playoffs last year. I think that's going to happen this year as well. So now I'm going to share my thoughts on the Eastern Conference. Up first, we have Tampa Bay Lightning versus Columbus Blue Jackets. Honestly, Tampa Bay, I've never really been a fan of. I haven't been following this year, but it's hard to miss them because they've been doing top things this whole year. They've been the top team for most of the season, most points, doing great things. And I can honestly respect that. Even though I'm not a fan of Tampa Bay Lightning, I can respect of how much hard work they've done this year. But they're going against Columbus Blue Jackets, which I think they have a lot of good guys on their team, a lot of great players. I hear that their goalie might be leaving. He might be wanting to switch teams after this season. So it might be interesting to see what happens and to see if he is the cause that they might get eliminated. I don't know. I think that they're going to do great. And Matt Duchesne is on the team. I'm a huge fan of Matt Duchesne. It was sad to see him leave Ottawa, but going to Columbus Blue Jackets, I think he has great things in his future. And that is exactly what he needs right now. So this one here, personally, I would like to see Columbus Blue Jackets advance. And if that were to happen, I would be happy with that. But given what Tampa Bay has done this year, I respect them. I'm not a fan of Tampa Bay, but I respect them. And I think they're going to advance in this matchup. For Tampa Bay, I think it's going to be 4-3. I think this one's going to be boiled down to the very last game. I hope that happens. That would be very exciting to see, but I would be happy if Columbus moved on. In fact, I would rather have Columbus move on because I'm more of a fan of them. I support them a little bit more, but you can't argue that Tampa Bay is doing great things this year, and I respect that. Next is Boston Bruins versus Toronto Maple Leafs. This is the same matchup that happened last year. And in my opinion, I've never been a fan of Toronto. I used to always hate them. But this year, they are proving themselves. This year, I respect them. I may not like the team, but at least I can respect them and respect what they have done this season. They've been doing tremendous things, dominating, and that is what I think they needed to do this year. However, with the playoffs, in my opinion, I think Toronto Maple Leafs usually always choke. That's what I seen last year whenever they faced Boston Bruins because they faced Bruins last year. So in my opinion, I think they may choke. Even though they have a great opportunity and they did great this entire season, it would be nice to see them advance. I don't know necessarily if I would want to see them as the Stanley Cup champions, but I would like to see them advance. However, I think it is going to come down to them choking once again in the playoffs. And I think Boston Bruins are going to advance. Boston has been doing tremendous things as well. They have great players and I think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be 4-2. That is what my prediction is right now. So we shall see what is going to happen. Next up is Washington Capitals versus Next up is Washington Capitals versus Carolina Hurricanes. Honestly, the Hurricanes have proved themselves to get into the playoffs, but they're going against last year's champions. They're going against Washington Capitals. They have Ovechkin on the team. They've been doing great things, the Capitals, and I think that the Capitals are going to clean sweep this series. I think it's going to happen. I don't care for Carolina too much, but I do respect that they made it into the playoffs. I do respect that they were determined to do it. So it would be nice to see them at least win a couple games, but against last year's champions, I honestly don't see it happening. I think it's going to be 4-0 for the Capitals. And the last matchup here is New York Islanders versus Pittsburgh Penguins. I honestly thought that Pittsburgh was going to not make the playoffs this year. And to me, I wouldn't have cared if they made the playoffs. I would have been okay if they were to miss the playoffs because I have been seeing them in the playoffs for years now. And it would be nice to see other teams advance and make it into the playoffs and get opportunities. But the Penguins definitely proved themselves and that is why they're in the playoffs. But they are going against New York Islanders, which I've been a fan of this year. I haven't been watching them closely, but I've been keeping up with the news about the team and I could see it going either way, honestly. On one hand, Pittsburgh Penguins have Sidney Crosby, they have Malkin, they have Phil Kessel, who I'm a fan of. They do have some other great players as well, but the Islanders also have some pretty great players, and the Islanders have Robin Leonard. Honestly, I never was a fan of Robin Leonard. He was on the Ottawa Senators, and I was glad that they traded him away because, in my opinion, he had anger issues. Then he went to Buffalo, and now he was on New York Islanders. And then this past season, we found out the reason why he had anger issues and what was going on on and now he's managing them better so I can respect what he has done and that is the reason he had anger issues so I can't honestly hold that against him I view him a little bit differently now because I respect that he got the help that he needed 
Upon returning from rehab and taking care of himself, he has been dominating for the Islanders this season. He's been on a roll. If he can keep the ball rolling and keep on kicking ass, I think that they have a really good chance beating the Penguins. And honestly, I would like to see that. Not necessarily that I think that they're going to advance pretty far in the playoffs, but I think they have a pretty good chance of beating the Penguins. And given what Robin Leonard can do now, that he is focused and he's doing what he knows he can do. I see great things from the Islanders. Honestly, again, I think it could go either way and I would be okay with it. I would like to see Penguins eliminated, but I could see them advancing. Honestly, I feel that if the Islanders let the Penguins go down to the last game and make it tied 3-3 and go into the seventh game, the last game, I think at that point, the Penguins will win. But if the Islanders can keep up and keep on top of the Penguins and kind of keep being in front of them the entire time and beat them, I think that is how they're going to beat them. If they go down to the last game, I think the Penguins are going to have it, but I hope that doesn't happen. So I'm going to say it's going to be 4-2 for this matchup. So these are my first round predictions on the 2019 Stanley Cup playoffs. I'm pretty excited to see what happens. And once again, even though my team did not make the playoffs, they were dead last. I can still be excited for the playoffs and I definitely am. I can't wait to see what happens. Hopefully some of my predictions come true. If not all of them, I would like to see that. But I would be okay if some of my predictions didn't come true because a lot of the teams this year do deserve to be in the playoffs. And I do think that they do have a great possibility of advancing. So I am going to leave this video here. Comment down below your predictions and I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.